Hello again, you guys. Welcome to video number three of Vlogmas. And um, today is all about writing a picture book manuscript. So the previous video was about getting inspiration. Um, we're assuming that you've already picked like what kind of picture book you're going to write. As I mentioned, I'm writing a character-driven picture book. Um, so now the next thing to do is kind of basically sit down and write your manuscript. Obviously that is a lot easier um, said than done. Now, what I decided to do for this video was kind of give six, maybe seven tips around um, like some things you need to consider when writing a manuscript and just things that I found useful in my process. So let us start with those. Number one, uh, conventions, know them. So picture books are usually between 500 and 1,000 words. They keep getting shorter and shorter and shorter. Back in the day, they used to be a lot longer. Um, it is hard to sell anything that's over the convention, so just keep that in mind. They're also usually 32 pages, and <clears throat> that is because just of how basically they're printed. Um, if they go above, they have to be in an increment of eight, usually unless you have an unconventional publisher. Um, however, if you're doing something unconventional and you haven't been published yet, there's a good chance the publisher is not gonna take a chance on that extra cost it adds. So it's kind of better, I think, to stick to the script initially. Um, at least I'm doing it that way. So, number two, writing a rhyming book is ve a very hard sell these days. Again, if you think about a picture book, like your mind probably automatically goes to a rhyme. Um, back in the day, again, rhyming was super common with like the mother goose tales and all of that. Um, rhyming books are still sold. They are absolutely not impossible, but everyone will tell you that they're a much harder sell because your rhyming has to be on point. And what usually happens is um, we start writing a rhyme and then instead of like for the next sentence saying what we want to say, we just say something silly to match the first rhyme. So I've definitely fallen victim to this. I have, have tried to write a number of rhyming manuscripts and they've all pretty much fallen short. So I'm trying not to do that consciously and this is not a rhyming book. Number three, know when your writing time is. Um, so I feel like throughout the day, we all kind of have like prime times for different activities. I'm a morning person. Um, like my mind works best pretty much like when I first get up, like and two hours into the day, it starts to slowly fade away. Um, so anything that requires like conceptual thinking, um, I, I should do in the morning. I can totally do things like painting and stuff really well in the afternoon. It's actually a lot more soothing for me, but if I'm doing like concept work, writing, all of that stuff, I do it like three times faster and way better in the morning. So when I'm writing something, um, I will often just have uh, like a piece of paper or my computer. I write on both. Know, know what you wanna write on. A lot of people like uh, paper, I actually can write just as well on the computer, funnily enough, and I consider myself an analog girl, so who knows what that's about. Um, but I'll have it sitting right beside my coffee, and if I and I'll just pick it up and start writing. And usually, I will go for about an hour max, and then I know I'm tapped out, and I start to like do more harm than good, if that makes sense. I start to like undo what I've done. Number four. Um, Either say it or show it, but you don't have to do both. So the advantage of being an author illustrator is we can, like we write and we conceive of the images um, synonymously. So sometimes the words come first, sometimes images come first, but 
we're, since we're doing both, we have more creative control um, to really seamlessly blend them and like let them play off of each other. Um, so, you know, I guess the example, no, I don't think that's relevant. Um, so oftentimes if we're going to say something in words, then we don't want to literally show whatever that is. Um, and if we're going to show something in illustrations, then we can actually skip the word part of it, if you know what I mean. Uh, so use that to your advantage because that is a super strength. Number five, read your manuscript aloud to people a lot. Um, I find that it really helps for two reasons. Number one, um, I want to see their reaction. I want to see if the parts that I think are kind of funny or amusing or, or, or emotional or whatever are resonating with them. Uh, and also, reading aloud is how a picture book is meant to be consumed. So you will notice if your picture book, like the cadence of your picture book and how it sounds and how you can incorporate like more interactivity or kind of like get a better rhythm or where the rhythm totally doesn't work. Even though you're not writing in rhymes, it's more of a song than a book, if you know what I mean. Number six is give it some room to breathe. Um, I definitely, especially initially, had the tendency to come up with an idea and write the thing like in an hour and be like, it's done, it's perfect, like there's nothing more that I need to change. Um, well, in fact, perspective is so key to the process and I find the same with art. If you're hitting a wall, just give it a few days, give your mind a few days to subconsciously process that thing. Um, it'll, you'll be way less sort of like insane for it and your book will be a lot better for it as well. Um, there's not too much of a sense of urgency uh, or, or there shouldn't be, I mean, yeah, you might be on a deadline, but probably not if you're pitching this picture book, no one's sitting there waiting for it. Um, so just give the process space, like honor your creative process. Um, know that something that you just cannot work out today will probably come to you tomorrow. Um, so give it room, don't smother it with love. And finally, this isn't really a tip, so we're still gonna say there were six tips. Um, make sure that you format it correctly for publishers. This is super important. Uh, you don't want to be sort of thrown um, aside because you didn't format your stuff right. And that is a wrap for today. Um, our next topic is, you know what? I don't actually remember what our next topic is. Um, I'm pretty sure that it is character development. Yeah, I think so. So that'll be a really fun one. Um, and that will also force me to draw a lot more of Mr. T-Rex. And um, in the meantime, if you have any questions or comments or like, yeah, want to add anything about your writing process, please feel free to comment below. And I will see you guys again soon. TTFN.